Hi everyone, my name is Margaret Grant. Most people who know me call me Meg and I'm a lecturer in the linguistics department and in the cognitive science program at SFU. In the fall 2020 term, I'm going to be teaching two lower division courses, COGS 100, Exploring the Mind, and LING 220, Introduction to Linguistics. And I love teaching both of these courses because it gives me a chance to share my curiosity about all things language, mind, and brain with students from a variety of different backgrounds. Now, fall 2020 is sure to be an atypical fall term, um, but you should know that we as instructors have been investing a great deal of time and care into making our remote format courses both engaging and effective for our students. In each of my courses, students will have a variety of instructional materials, including um, video and audio lecture recordings, as well as readings that students can engage with at their convenience throughout the week. And then for each course, there'll be a one hour session at a scheduled time. For COGS 100, this means a question and answer session with me. And for LING 220, it'll be a tutorial session that could either be led by me or by one of our wonderful graduate student TAs. And these scheduled sessions are a great opportunity to ask questions about the course material and to get advice about upcoming assignments and tests. However, of course, they're not the only way that you can interact with the instructor and with the TAs. So we all have time set aside for virtual office hours and as well as time set aside for um, answering student inquiries via email. So to my mind, one of the biggest challenges of the remote format for students is keeping on track with the course material from week to week throughout the term. And one way that I encourage my students to stay on track is by having um, weekly activities. So for example, practice exercises, canvas discussions, or even thematic crossword puzzles. And um, I assign a small amount of the student's grade for these participation activities as an incentive to stay on track with the course material. Um, in general, I encourage students to seek out opportunities to get to know their peers, whether this is forming a study group within a course or, for example, finding out about undergraduate student societies in your own discipline. These are great ways to um, get that SFU university experience, even in the remote format. Finally, I'd just like to extend a warm welcome to all incoming SFU students, and I look forward to interacting with some of you in cognitive science and linguistics courses. Bye for now.